What is the KJV only movement? Is the King James Version the only Bible we should use? We're going to answer those questions. Many people have strong and serious objections to the translation methods and textual basis for the new translations and therefore take a strong stance in favor of the King James Version. Others are equally convinced that newer translations are an improvement over the King James Version in their textual basis and translation methodology. The KJV-only movement claims its loyalty to be to the Textus Receptus, a Greek New Testament manuscript compilation completed in the 1500s. To varying degrees, KJV-only advocates argue that God guided Erasmus, the compiler of the Textus Receptus, to come up with a Greek text that is perfectly identical to what was originally written by the biblical authors. However, upon further examination, it can be seen that KJV-only advocates are not loyal to the Textus Receptus, but rather only to the KJV itself. The New Testament of the New King James Version is based on the Textus Receptus, just as the KJV is. Yet, KJV-only advocates label the New King James Version just as heretical as they do the NIV, NAS, etc. Beyond the New King James Version, other attempts have been made to make minimal updates to the King James, only modernizing the archaic language while using the exact same Greek and Hebrew manuscripts. These attempts are rejected nearly as strongly as the New King James and other newer Bible translations. This proves that KJV-only advocates are loyal to the King James James version itself, not to the Textus Receptus. KJV only advocates have no desire or plan to update the KJV in any way. The King James Version certainly contains English that is outdated, archaic, and sometimes confusing to modern English speakers and readers. It would be fairly simple to publish an updated King James Version with the archaic words and phrases updated into modern 21st century English. However, any attempt to edit the KJV in any way results in accusations from KJV-only advocates of heresy and perversion of the Word of God. When the Bible is translated for the first time into a new language today, it is translated into the language that the culture speaks and writes today, not the way they spoke and wrote 400 years ago. The same should be true in English. The Bible was written in the common, ordinary language of the people at that time. Bible translations today should be the same. That is why Bible translations must be updated and revised as languages develop and change. The KJV-only movement is very English-focused in its thinking. So why should people who read English be forced to read the Bible in outdated, archaic English, while people of all other languages can read the Bible in modern, current forms of their languages? Our loyalties are to the original manuscripts of the Old and New Testaments written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Only the original languages are the Word of God as He inspired it. A translation is only an attempt to take the meaning of the original languages and communicate in a way that we can understand in English. However, none of the modern translations are perfect. Every one contains verses that are at least somewhat mistranslated. By comparing and contrasting several different translations, it is often easier to get a good grasp on what the verse is saying than by only using one translation. Our loyalty should not be to any one translation, but to the inspired, inerrant Word of God that is communicated by the Holy Spirit through the translations. That answers the question, what is the KJV movement? Is the King James Version the only Bible we should use? Research these questions further on our website, gotquestions.org. Give a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe. Meanwhile, check out these other questions.